Hey y'all, this game is a hot mess. We're not gonna think too hard about that. Sorry, I gotta... Holy crap. I muted all of the computer audio because this is just ridiculous. All right, Breland, grew up in Breland. Can't hear myself think. Breland's. Uh, yeah, I dug this up. Uh, they had an expansion, and it showed up in a. Uh, one of my things not too long ago and i was like oh i remember playing that game and i remember really liking it but i don't remember why i stopped playing it and i think it was because uh a handful of oh hang on i don't there now we can actually see me but uh like the all right i don't like any of that gotta leave that alone Every time I mess with faces, I make things worse. What about the army? Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, no, this, this game is actually after I was in the military. Uh, now, let me turn this back on. There we go. All right. Now we'll actually be able to hear. Yeah, sorry. The music was annoyingly loud. Yeah, I think the reason that I stopped playing was that uh, we had a... So back, oof, I guess, 20 years ago now, uh, I had... Uh, my wife and I always played MMOs together. And what we would do is we would play the MMO until we got bored. And then we would flip over to a new MMO. And we had a, like a group of friends where we would all kind of like hop from one game to another because it was when a bunch of MMOs were coming out. So like we started, uh, we all met on a game called Anarchy Online, which is a sci-fi MMO. And then like World of Warcraft came out and we hopped into that. And then we played EverQuest and we just kind of like jumped from game to game to game to game. To just kind of keep it, uh, keep it up and running. I gotta fix the, yeah, see, here's, okay, here's always one of my problems, is that every time I come back to a game, they're like, here, here's year one, and year two, and year three, and it's like, man, you need to not give me stuff right away, because I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, cloak of the peacekeeper, okay, so I got a cloak now, uh, Second best table knife. Second best table knife. Okay. That's a... Uh... Nope. So how do I... Alright. Character sheet. Okay. Yeah, so... No, I made a burglar. Oh, crap. All right, let's try it again. Guardian. Guardian. So through pure chance, uh, one of the old MMOs, uh, Ultima Online, uh, I picked I picked a server at random because we didn't know. Uh, I was living in Hawaii at the time, but the server that we picked just happened to be the one that all of the Australian players picked. So we ended up with a bunch of people from Australia and from Japan because it was the the end Calif it was in California, and it was like the closest time zone to either of them. So it kind of made the most sense. Man, Ultima Online ha has gone through so much. That's... I need to move those again. 
What did you think of Ultima Online? Did you like it when you played it? Yeah, the original servers are still there, but it's a little it's a little wonky. Uh, and it it's kind of I mean it's just in maintenance mode pretty much. But the the people who keep the servers alive are kind of awesome. But it was fun watching like I've played it over the course of its entire lifetime. So I've seen from the very beginning when they were like, okay, how do we do this to where it is now? And it's, it's, it's kind of the same thing as, uh, like, forgive me. I know very little about Brazil, but like up here in the United States, whoop, we have giant shopping malls that we built everywhere. And then over the course of my life, are now just like giant buildings that there are two stores in. And like Ultima Online has that same thing to where it's like when all the people were playing it. And that's why I'm glad the fan server is still there. Because that way the 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 people who want to play it can still play on a populated server. Because that's when that game is working at its best. Outlands? Yes, I've heard of Outlands. Doors and portals, okay. Doors. Love that there's a tutorial on how doors work. I love that the jump is like forward, jump far. Left, jump far. Right, jump far. Backwards, uh Yeah, the the first time let's see, the first time I played UO. Oh, I don't know. When did Ultima Online come out? Because I know we were basically split between... Yeah, it came out in 1997. I don't think I played it in 97. I think I played it in 98. Uh, because uh, basically... So the... So there was a point where we were all on uh, different shifts. So... And the... So in the army, we would, we would work in different shifts so that 24 hours, if anybody needed anything, we could help. And when we went back to the barracks, uh, we were basically just, we could do whatever. So we, there were two camps and there were the people who were like, okay, Ultima Online is awesome. And then there were people that were like, EverQuest is awesome. And some of us, like me, would, like, bounce back and forth depending on what group I wanted to play with that month. So, like, my, my subscription would be, like, subscribed January and February to UO, and then March and April would be EverQuest, and it would just kind of flip back and forth, back and forth. Because both games had, like, every MMO has something that they're doing really well. And then they have other things where they just drop the ball for for me. Uh, because, like, Ultima Online had... Its player housing is... Probably the best... Non-intuitive player housing for beginners. I don't know if that makes much sense, but... So, I, in, originally, it was... you in Because I, I, I think... If you said Outlands is where you started, I'm pretty sure Outlands had uh, uh, the customizable houses. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but originally there were only six or seven different house types. And because of a gold dupe bug... Uh, any place that could house the giant castle was just taken. Because there was no way to communicate in Ultima Online originally. I And I don't know if there is even now. But so we used to have uh, ICQ, which I don't think exists anymore, up in the corner. And so we would hear the little, uh -oh, whenever somebody sent a message. Two attacks. Okay, so if I block it, and then I can do two attacks after and retaliation after parrying. Okay, so I basically want to get hit. Yeah. 
I appreciate that because I am definitely over yappy. I had uh, my my poor co-workers yesterday had to deal with me uh, in one of my uh, more talkative phase. And the sad thing is, is that we have we were trying to get work done, but when I'm talking to people, like I can I can multitask very poorly, uh, but some of them can't. We'll need a distraction, and I know just what to do. Cool. Okay. Bit of fire. Place to put it. Where did... Oh. Arson. Okay. We'll go with where the good guys. Come on, you big... Clod pole? Is that a pole that sounds like a horse? Cool. That was a death. I didn't see anything. Nope. This. Why did we close the gate behind us? Ugh. What a stupid idea. Wounded by a black rider. The ranger Amdir escaped with his charges into the wild, making his way back to the village. Oh, he's still alive. That button. Alright, that's pretty cool. So I can just say I don't need bag three and move all these up here. And then bag three will just... Alright, I like that. I like that a lot. We are in Archette? Arquette? I don't know how to pronounce that. The way I always pronounce it is Jack a uh, Lair. It's just been my screen name forever. And then I put VG at the end because it ended up... I was like, I originally wanted a specific place for video games. And occasionally the way I say things is is just wholly inaccurate. Uh, so it, when I try and uh, speak Spanish, anyone who can speak Spanish eventually tells me, you, you just need to stop. It hurts my ears. Please. For Archettes. Archettes? Archettes? I still don't know how to pronounce it. Every moment I spend here is a moment in which my true charge plunges blindly nearer to unfathomable peril. Unfathomable peril. Unfathomable peril is a great band name. But I let them stay on account of the Pale One's wounds. Really? You're picking on him? I mean, all right, he is paler than, but still, that seems like a weird, oh, if he says we're safe, then we're safe. Okay, I don't think that's how that works, but I have the the best editing, or, I'm sorry, did he just say that there's something about a squirrel? A movie from my childhood called The Sword and the Sorcerer. I typed that all kinds of wrong. So there's, directed by uh, Albert Pune, uh, a movie director who I believe has since passed. And uh, he made The the Sword and the Sorcerer. It's a, a fantasy uh, movie about a guy who has uh, a sword that has three blades and he can shoot two of them. He can shoot them out. There's a sorcerer who's the evil guy. There's a king that's working with the sorcerer, but ultimately wants to betray. It's super cool. But at the end of that movie, it's like, and this is from 1982. So over 50 years ago now? Wow. No, because I'm not that old. 40 years ago. Sorry, 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 sorry. So over 40 years ago. And then at the end, it says like, hey, there will be more adventures of this character. And so from, I think I saw it in like the late 80s when I was like 10, staying up way too late watching TV shows that I really shouldn't have. But, you know, so I go on to, uh, it says there will be a sequel. The sequel didn't come out for 30 years. And we 
the the people that I that I know that were fans of the original film were like, oh, f- finally, finally, we get the we get the we get the next part. So twenty days is still a lot for the next page. Thirty years for another movie. That's that's another thing. Like uh uh, what was the Blade Runner? How long was it between Blade Runners? I'll get in trouble if I go down that rabbit hole. But. Well, well. If it isn't the rumor monger. I heard all about you, Darwin. As you can see for yourself, there aren't no brigands causing problems. It's the wolves that are threatening us lately. They seem to have gathered around Browns fully. Especially around the top of the ruins. Sorry, I'm doing a terrible accent because that was a terrible accent. Brackenbrook sent you to assist me and assist me you shall. I would like you to look into this wolf problem we are having. Alright, dude. Uh, you've earned loot from a nearby loot panel to open up your loot. Wait, what? Okay. Alright, loot panel. Loot panel. Oh. Well, that's weird. I don't know if I like that. Defeat foes, focus on dealing damage. Nope. All tank all the way. I like how well the sound matches up with the walking. So when the, the footsteps actually make the thing, actually make the noise. Oh, poor buddy. You're the run to the litter. Is now gone. Is there fall damage? So it sounds like my leg broke, but my health didn't go down. Lotro Store offers a wide variety of items and premium services that complement your journey throughout Middle Earth. You can visit the store by clicking. Lotro store from the system menu. Use the main menu in the bottom left of your screen or click on the Lotro store button on the far right of the main toolbar. Visit the store often to view new and special offers. Let's see what's in the gifts. Just out of morbid curiosity. Anniversary fireworks. Okay, that's kind of cool. And they're not, they don't go away, so. Alright. Cosmetic shield. What? Oh, it's a back piece. Alright. Okay. That looks really dumb. <laughs> okay. Alright. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. <clears throat> ah. Okay. So I've got anniversary fireworks. Yellow fireworks. What do they do? Oh, that's awesome. Alright. With orange fireworks. Oh. Okay. Oh, but more. Okay. Cool, cool. Do you now have an emote? Orb blue? Whoa! But why? I cool. Cool, cool, cool. And white tree fireworks.
That's pretty cool. And what's this? Dragon fireworks. What do you want, Mundo? Hey, you there! I'm hungry. So this is how a narcissist talks. Is, hey, I'm hungry. Not excuse me. Could you please get me some food? I'm quite hungry. But just state their fact, and then just doesn't ask a question using number lock for run is always ser silly to me because that's a toggle button so if i toggle num lock on and then i like move so that num lock stops running me num lock is still off so then i have to push it again to turn num lock back on which then means i'm running and if i don't want to be running i can't just a little thing chasing its own tail all right wait no reward tracks except this type of experience granted by this item? What on earth does that mean? Ooh, he seems to be very dead. Okay. Well, he is very dead. So we can't help him. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Well, I mean, I guess we're here. What can I do for you? Not, not the voice I expected to come out of that. I just sold the potions. Our best hope is to get help from Comb, our neighbors. They will not let our chat fall to brigands. Okay, our chat. He said our chat. So now I know how to say it. Awesome. Okay. Wow, you guys are total jerks. So now I gotta go tell. Wait, 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 wait. That's weird. Ominous clouds? That's just weird. So we're just delivering a message. Here is... Oh. Huh. Well, that's awkward. Can I do that? No. I can't do that. I can jump. They didn't have to jump, though. That seems like cheating. This cannot be. I have trusted Calder Cobb and heeded his advice for a long time. Even after my own son tried to warn me of his... De Your own son! Okay. 
He does not deserve to be dragged deeper into my folly. Nay, Arshet must withstand the storm without help. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. You were mean to your son. Apologize. Move on. Okay, there really needs to be a, a, every, every, every MMO should have a class that is just called therapist or counselor and just tell Captain Brackenbrook that it's like, look, you're going to condemn all these people to die or you can own up to being a shitty father and just apologize to your son. Say, hey, I was wrong. That's not hard. I'm wrong all the time. I'll be wrong many times today. I've seen some big bugs in my life. Like, I've lived places where they have big bugs. Those are big bugs. Very large insects that frighten me. Alright, where am I going? Hunting lodge. Good, good, good. This water looks weird. Can you not... Can't go under the water. Alright. I have to skin one more bear. I swear I'll move to the Shire. So that's an actual thought bear. Like I've I have I have hunted in my life and it was uh mostly uh very, very small uh critters and one deer. I cannot imagine trying to skin a bear. Not allowed while mounted, so I can't mount while mounting. Great. He's just a hoodlum. Man. That's a word that, like, my grandma used. I found the plans. They left them out. Man, I want a wolf. Okay, I'm sorry. That's the bear. The bear is gigantic. Once again, if if I had to skin bears like that, I would be done too. I mean, but I don't want to kill them. They're cute. In a spider sort of way. I ain't fine. John Brackenbrook and his hunters have reached the outskirts of Archit to find it already ablaze. A desperate struggle to save their village is about to begin. Holy shit. Hopefully, you have arrived in time. There are more up ahead. Look, dude, I'm new here. I barely know the town, so... See? That is how you deal with it. With the Black Wolves' attack foiled, the people of Archit have begun to rebuild. Yet not all hurts are so easily mended. The fate of the Ranger Amdia remains uncertain and may have dire consequences for Breland. But hope remains that he may yet be saved. 